We are currently on a month-long European adventure in the winter, which is a season that we haven't really experienced much of before. One thing I never knew is that when it's this cold, the inside of your nose basically freezes. Our goal is to soak up as many winter experiences as we can. And after visiting Christmas markets and seeing snowy peaks in southern Germany, plus taking a day trip to the charming city of Tallinn, Estonia, the next leg of our adventure brings us to Finland, the ultimate winter wonderland. Over the next two weeks, we're going to experience much of what Finland in the winter has to offer like venturing above the Arctic Circle, meeting reindeer, trying our first Finnish sauna, floating on icy waters, hopefully seeing the northern lights, and snow, lots of snow. And we're kicking off our time in the country's capital of Helsinki. have two days here in Helsinki and we're gonna try to experience as much of the city as we can plus get an introduction to the Finnish cuisine and for our first stop we're at Cafe Regatta which is an adorable red hut right on the water that's been here since 1887. They're known for their hot chocolate and pastries and so we of course got some goodies to try. Obviously here's the hot chocolate. Here is the Korva Pusti which is like a cinnamon bun and then this is Musti Kapiraka which is a blueberry pie. She asked if I wanted whipped cream. The answer is always heck yes. Mmm. Oh my gosh, that whipped cream is so good. <laughs> it's all over my face. No, it's on your <laughs> oh no. But I think what I'm most excited for is this blueberry pie. It actually kind of looks more like a blueberry cake and it has this vanilla sauce on top. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. It has a nice crumble on the top and then you get good bites of blueberry with that vanilla sauce. Oh man. That vanilla sauce. Mm hmm mm-hmm. Yeah, I love the texture of that sponge cake. It's really moist. And then just little bursts of the blueberry. And yeah, the vanilla sauce just makes it really shine. Mm. Now for the cinnamon bun. Mmm, that's a perfect cinnamon bun. Perfect. I love the crunchiness on the top. I'm not totally sure what these white things are, but these look kind of like nuts. And then there's just these layers in here, which just have tons of cinnamon in between them. And fun fact, the name translates into slapped ears, I think. So. <laughs> they also have a fire you can sit by, but you can also roast sausages over it. And with all this sweet stuff, we need something savory. What a neat experience. Yeah, I love this experience. More places in the world need something like this. I would give a couple of dollars like at any cafe or restaurant to be able to do this. Yeah, it's yeah. so cool. It's awesome. <laughs> One thing we've noticed in Helsinki so far is the unique mix of architecture. There's buildings with super modern minimalistic design and others with more neoclassical design. And this mix is especially noticeable in the city's churches, like the Tempeliakio Church or the Church in the Rock, which as the name implies is carved into a rock with exposed rocks in the interior and a copper dome ceiling. There's also the Kampi Chapel, which has a curved wooden design, the Uspensky Cathedral, which has an ornate red brick exterior, and the Helsinki Cathedral, which stands right behind me, which might be the most recognizable landmark in the city. It has a gorgeous white exterior and green domes and reminds us of a fancy government building or state capital back in the U.S. It's all just very different from the cities we visited so far on this trip. Another first impression of Helsinki is that it is a lot larger feeling than I thought it would be. I'm not really sure what I expected, but there aren't tall buildings, but there's just a lot going on. It just feels very busy and hopping. And also, just look at all of the snow. We've been getting snowed on the entire day. And what's really crazy is that a lot of the sidewalks that we've been walking on are just covered in snow and ice. Like they don't get cleared. You just walk on them. And we both grew up in places where no one really goes outside when it's rarely snowing or icy, like everyone just stays inside. So it's just such a different experience to be out in this weather, just walking around and just 
just going for it. <laughs> We've been in awe all day, like all this snow and all this ice, we are not used to it, but the local people around here, it doesn't slow them down at all. They are just going about their normal business. We even saw a guy riding a one wheel around, so it's just another day for them here. <laughs> Oh, thank you. You're my favorite dog in oh, Europe. Hi. Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> What's his name? For dinner, we're at Mary Moccasini to try their Lohi Keto, which is a Finnish creamy salmon soup that has salmon, potatoes, carrots, leeks, and dill. And we hear that they have some of the best in the city, and check it out, I got the large, got a whole bucket of it. He said, he said it's a liter, <laughs> I'm so excited. Yeah, and just like spooning this around, there are huge, massive chunks of salmon in there. Mm. Oh my gosh, that is so good. Wow. Yeah, nice and creamy. The salmon just like melts in your mouth. Get just a hint of the dill. That is exactly what I hoped it would be. As y'all know, I've been warming up to seafood. I've had so much seafood this last year, but salmon is one that I haven't really had much of because I had kind of like a, just not the best experience growing up with salmon and it's kind of scarred me. But here in Finland, you eat salmon, so I'm gonna do it. And there's a reason why I got the small one instead of the large one like Adam just in case I don't like it. Mmm, that's actually really solid. <laughs> the salmon has a slight fishy taste to me, but the texture, like Adam said, just falls apart in your mouth. It's so good. But the, just like the creamy soup part is easily my favorite. Every time Catherine tries something she normally doesn't like or ever eat, she always asks me, are you proud of me? And I say, no, I'm happy for you. You're finally getting to enjoy this delicious food you've been missing out on. And he always says, you're opening up your world to more flavor by getting to enjoy this salmon. <laughs> Crush that liter of salmon soup. Mm. One thing that's going to be interesting during our time in Finland is the small amount of daylight. Today the sun set at 3.20 p.m. and as we go further north in Finland, we're gonna have less and less and less daylight. And at one point, the sun is not going to rise at all, which is something that we have never experienced. The hard part about this is that we have less time in a day to do things, but on the positive side, it kind of forces us to slow down a bit and not cram our days and just take it a bit easier, which we desperately need. So even though it's about 5 p.m. right now, it feels like 9 p.m. to us, and I think we're about ready to go to bed. <laughs> Helsinki is located right on the water and is part of an archipelago consisting of 330 islands. And today we're going on a day trip to Suomenlinna, which is a group of islands home to a sea fortress. So the ferry ride to Suomenlinna is only about 15 minutes long. And while here in Helsinki, we got a four day public transportation pass, which gives us access to all the public transportation, including this ferry. So it's a very affordable day trip. It is seven degrees Fahrenheit out here, but the feels like temperature is negative six. <sighs> I'm getting frost on my buff from breathing. It's like I'm getting like icicles <laughs> and my makeup's all running because I guess things are just getting wet. I don't know. <laughs> this is a brand new experience for us. Yeah. I'm loving it though. It's exciting. Suomenlinna was built in the mid 18th century when Finland was part of the Kingdom of Sweden. It was built to not only protect the Swedish Empire, but also to serve as a naval base. 
Over the years, Swaminlina has been under Swedish, Russian, and Finnish control, and today it is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and is one of the most popular attractions in Helsinki. There is quite a bit to see on this island, but the best way to explore it is to follow the blue route, which runs from north to south. We just grabbed a map from the visitor center, which has the route and some of the highlights along the way, and we're off to explore. Found some tunnels to explore. Cool. One thing we didn't expect about Swaminlina is that about 800 people actually live here. We've been to many places like this in the past and they're always just for tourism purposes only so it's very interesting to see how people actually live in such a historic area and honestly you wouldn't even know it because the historic characteristics and feel is just so well maintained. I think my favorite thing about this island are the views. You have amazing views of Helsinki right off to my left and then all around the island you just have gorgeous views of the water. And what's so crazy is there's all this steam just rolling across the top of the water which is so beautiful and then the light. The sun has been up for a couple hours now but it's still really low so we just have this constant like sunrise lighting going on and it's just illuminating the steam. It's just, it's just so beautiful. Defrosting a bit before we hop back on the ferry. Oh, yeah. I can finally feel my fingers again. <laughs> we got the lucky spot with the heater right on the wall here. Got our gloves warming up, our buffs defrosting. There are some restaurants where you can grab a full meal on Swaminlina, but we really wanted to check out some of Helsinki's markets instead. And first we're at an outdoor market that's right by where you get on and off the ferry. We have a couple more Finnish foods we want to try today and first is Vindis, which is a lake fish that comes from Lake Saima here in Finland. And it is a whole fish. The whole thing, they're tiny guys, but it's the whole thing. I've never eaten an entire fish like this before. The eyeballs and everything. You're supposed to just eat it. We think. I think. <laughs> so laugh at me if I do it wrong. <laughs> All right, oh gosh, here goes nothing. They're pretty good, actually. There's like a light breading on the outside. They kind of just taste like the breading and that they're fried and they're kind of buttery. You taste, feel the bones? No, you don't feel the bones at all. What about the eyeball? You don't notice anything. Actually, I just kind of taste like the meat of them. They're actually really good. The fact that this was out of Adam's comfort zone should tell you that this is especially out of my comfort zone. But I will say, Making these videos has made me so much more adventurous with food and just traveling in general, wanting to experience the culture, experience the foods that make up the culture. Oh, I gotta close my eyes though because I don't like seeing the eyeballs. <laughs> That's actually really good. You don't look convinced. No, I'm, I'm just having a hard time mentally with it right now. So I'm just gonna keep closing my eyes, go to a happy place. No, they're crunchy. They're not very fishy tasting at all. And they're just meaty and crunchy. Not as bad as I thought it would be. I don't know if it's 100% for me. I'm glad I got this many because I'm actually kind of addicted to yeah, them. Yeah, you've had like seven already. I'm, they're really good. We've popped into the old market hall, which has been here in Helsinki since 1889. It has this super classic old school feel. And here you can find various stalls that serve baked goods, seafood, and traditional food. And we're on the hunt to find another Finnish food that is on our list. It's a 
This is a Karelian pie, which is a pie made of rye dough and stuffed with rice porridge. And then on top it has an egg butter, which it's hard boiled eggs and butter mixed together. So this bottom part doesn't have a ton of flavor. It kind of tastes like bread and then some rice, I guess. But the top, it has like an eggy flavor and it's very salty. So it kind of adds some flavor to this bottom part and has a good chew to it also. Oh, it's very creamy. It definitely has a good salt level to it. Another item we wanted to try here in Finland is salmiaki or salty licorice. It's basically licorice plus ammonium chloride, which is in cough medicine. Sounds delicious. We weren't sure if they'd have it here at the market, so we bought some at the grocery store last night and we got the Fotzer brand. And every time we look at it, it looks just like our last name, Fraser. so it kind of throws us off. So this is a mix pack with three different types and on the back it tells you what they are. And I think some of the Google Translate translations are really funny. So apparently this one's kind of the classic one since 1938. This one is a milder cover of the old classic. And then this last one translates into the blindfold fit, the blind, wait, the blindfold fit, the blindfold freaks like a button. So I don't know what that means. It sounds freaky. <laughs> I think we're gonna go with the classic one. I don't know, the milder one's probably the better option, to be honest. Uh, this is a very acquired taste, I hear. I hear that you, um... A very acquired taste. A lot of foreigners do not like this at all. Finns love it. We'll see how we feel. It doesn't really smell like much of anything. So it's salty. Salty really salty stuck to my teeth honestly not nearly as bad as I thought it would be a little bit of a medicine taste is very like tangy and salty I think I read that if you go into it not thinking it's candy and sweet you won't be as surprised by the flavor yeah it's just chewy and salty I actually don't hate it <laughs> did I take a random one I hope you get the, the blind freaks one. Alright, we're just gonna grab one. Mm. This one. Oh man. It's not as salty as I thought it would be. But it has just like a weird flavor. I don't know. It's not as bad as I thought it would be at all. It almost has like a menthol feel to it. Like I just drank like a thing of Robitussin or something. <laughs> I don't hate it, but I definitely don't love it. Yeah, you don't love it don't yet. Don't love it yet. Yeah. Acquire a lot. Yeah, we got a whole bag of it to go through, so. Today is actually New Year's Eve and it's our first time ever spending New Year's outside the US, which is pretty exciting because we can start 2024 even earlier. But one big perk of being in a larger city is that there are all kinds of fun festivities going on. So we're gonna head back to our hotel, rest up a bit before venturing back out to find a celebration to not only end our time here in Helsinki, but also end 2023. Twenty twenty three was truly incredible. After years of really only being able to travel in the U.S., we finally got to continue one of our goals of traveling internationally and immersing ourselves in other cultures. We spent two weeks in Merida, Mexico, where we explored different Mayan ruins and cenotes. Six weeks in Vietnam, where we visited different cities and towns, swam in caves, and rode around the mountains on motorbikes had super fun quick stops in Thailand and Singapore, and now we're here in Europe for a month, visiting brand new countries. We also got to travel by van to our final US states, including biking across our 50th state, which was one of the best and most rewarding moments of our entire life. And we road tripped all around the beautiful Atlantic Canada provinces, seeing different coastal towns and cities, fjords, dramatic cliffs, the highest tide in the world, and so much more. This past year is going to be a hard one to beat as it seems to be every year, but we can't think of a better way to kick off 2024 than here in Finland. And we are so excited for another year of exploring the world together. <laughs>
is one of the craziest firework celebrations. They're just like all around, 360 degrees, everywhere you look, there's fireworks right behind us, everywhere. <laughs> 